Welcome to This Week. And for this week, I'm talking with Deirdre Quinn and Kevin Griffin about the issue about whether you should choose quantitative or qualitative methods. So what do you think? How, how does a student make the decision about which road they should go down? Yeah, it is one of the major decisions, isn't it? Um, a lot of it comes from within the question itself. What is the nature of the research? Are you exploring? Are you measuring things? What are you trying to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so those two words were important, weren't they? Because if you're exploring something, then you're more likely to be doing qualitative research, Absolutely. yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And ha Kevin, how do you think a student makes that decision? I mean, how, how do they arrive at their question to know whether they want to explore or they want to quantify? Well, I'd, of course, the first case, I'd say that they need to talk to the supervisor because mm -hmm. that's going to be fairly important. It, makes, it means you're making an informed decision. But a lot of it is to do with who you are. You know, if you're the type of person who was happy to go out and interview people, you know, in the pu in public or call to someone in their office and have a structured interview organised, you know, that'll determine what type of research you'll do be, be best at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but a lot of it is going to be the type of findings you're going to be looking for. Are you going to need something statistical that you're going to quantify, or is it going to be something much more qualitative and in-depth? So it sort of depends, doesn't it, on what way you word your research questions. Yeah. So I think that students need to be thinking about that either before they word their questions, or if they're looking back, then that might reflect you know, what, what the best path is to take. Absolutely. Um, you can often see people using words like, I want to measure, I want to explore, mm. whatever it might be, and that gives an indication of where they should go with regard to um, pursuing a, a particular approach to research in one way or another. Um, but uh, yeah, there, it's worth looking at the two of them, maybe individually. Uh, the last couple of lectures we had before the reading week um, in research methods, we spoke about uh, quantitative research and analysis and then tools for gathering mm -hmm. quantitative material. Hopefully what was achieved there was that we took the mystique out of the whole idea of statistical analysis and made people realise that, you know, the level of statistical knowledge you currently have will probably be sufficient mm -hmm. if you wish to pursue a question that is quantitative in nature. That the software we use, SPSS, is really very usable, um, very much a, a Windows-based um, software programme and uh, very uh, user-friendly indeed, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, each approach, I suppose, has its, its its difficulties. Um, if you get over that whole oh, statistics thing with regards to the quantitative approach, um, then really a lot of your work is done once you have the data input mm -hmm. into SPSS. Mm -hmm. Qualitative work, on the other hand, very often that's where some of the heaviest work begins mm -hmm. in the analysis stage, where you must really bury yourself, immerse yourself in data that's very uh, word-driven, text-driven, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to numbers-driven. And again, people prefer to do different things. They want to do different things, depending upon the question they pose. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's important for them to think as well about what they're good at, isn't it? I mean, yes. so you're, you're pointing there, yeah. you know, that the heavy weight, if you like, for the stats bit is up, up, up front, maybe, yes. where the interview bit is different. Yes. Um, so let's just think a little bit about what that means, about what suits you best. How would a student think about what they're better at? A lot of it, I suppose, is to think about what kind of modules they pick when they have an option. Okay. You know, that's, that's a really good way to think of it. If you've shied away from the, the quants-based modules, well, then there's some reason for okay. that. Um, or if you've got really good results in a particular type of module. You know, the, 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 there is no easier type of research. It's the person yeah. mm -hmm. in terms of mm -hmm. some people are yeah. really good at number crunching and can churn out fabulous stuff out of SPSS and someone else will eat it before they'll do it. <laughs> I think also it's important to say, isn't it, that I mean, interviewing is a key skill that some people have and other people would find that much harder to go into and yes. to ask people questions and yeah. to be able to analyse it. So you have to think about you know, whether you're a people person or you prefer to be you know, with the numbers. Absolutely, and we'll be discussing those issues in the next two weeks, the qualitative analysis and the qualitative data gathering tools. Um, really, at the end of the day, the choice is about what's appropriate. Yes. Okay. In any particular situation. Mm -hmm. You can make an argument one way or the other for an awful lot of things, mm -hmm. but it's what feels appropriate. What does the literature say? Mm -hmm. How do the people you read, how have they undertaken their research? Okay. Does that have lessons for you? Okay, and just one key question that I know students will be shouting while they're watching this is, which one is easier? Neither. Neither. Okay. <laughs> that's the right answer. Yeah. Okay, there isn't one that's easier yeah. than the other. Sure it isn't. Not so it's the, not, not that there's an easy path. Not if they're done properly. Yeah. You know, you can, do e you can take shortcuts in each approach and produce you know, awful results, or you can do them really well and produce superb results. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, yeah. it's down to f looking at your strengths, looking at the literature, there's a whole range of things you have to bring together. Okay. Yeah.
Okay, thanks very much. So what we've seen then is, is we've seen that it's very important to think about what type of person you are and what suits you best, but most importantly, to think about what your research question is and whether qualitative or quantitative techniques will find you the answer to the question. See you next time.